All right, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Self Made Quan, back with another video, and today I'll be doing a story time. This story time just somewhat happened, so y'all y'all getting a fresh mind right now. But we're gonna call this edible stories. So, matter of fact, let me put some background music right about now. So, let me think. Um, so what just happened is I put myself in a bad situation because I was under the influence. Kids don't do brownies or edibles or anything like that, but... Well, first thing is that I ate some brownies yesterday and I'm still feeling lit today, so... It's, it's pretty strong. So what just happened is I was pretty hungry. Like, I've been laying in bed all day from like, since I woke up to like maybe three in the afternoon. I went to go get my car, um, car tags. So what happened is when I left there, I felt pretty hungry. So I, I decided to go to Jack in the Box. When I went to Jack in the Box, it's kind of like on a rough part of town, so. Yeah, that is a lot of people hanging out, a lot of, I don't want to say bums, but bums. And crackheads, hookers, jimmies, and all that. But it was these young kids that were outside. Well, I say young as in like my age, kind of. He looked thugged out for real, like, they, they all looked thugged out. So he asked me, am I selling? So usually when people ask that, I'd be like, no, of course, cause I don't sell anything. So uh, then he asked, do I know anybody that do sell? I do know, it's just, it ain't smart for me to tell who I know, you know? But yeah, so then he asked me that and then, and then, um, oh. Uh, then he asked, do you want to buy these candy bars? Like they were selling candy bars at the time. Candy bars, M&Ms and all that. So I was like, I don't got any cash. And then he was like, well, can you give us a ride? I was like, I wasn't really thinking. So I said yes, not knowing it was three other people that's gonna ride inside the car. I didn't know that, but I ain't mind either, but they all look thugged out. Mind that. So we're driving and all that, and I noticed one of the guys had a couple tattoos around his neck and all that. And I mean, this guy was really thugged out. Like my, my guy got the slang and everything, like key from Memphis and all that. Later on, I, I found out about that. But yeah, like the reason that I gave them the ride is because they said they could give me gas money. So I took them to one part of town and not knowing it was gonna be for a green pickup. So we went to the house. I'm already on edge, I'm like, yeah, I shouldn't have done this. I need to stay away from the brownies and all that. Like, if I was in the right state of mind, I would have said no and kept it pushing, but I was thinking of money. Even though they wasn't even gonna give me that much money, it's just, it's money. But yeah, so we went to the greenhouse and it's on a rough part of town for real. Yeah, it was pretty rough. I was like, why did I put myself in this situation? Like I'm wearing Yeezys on and all that. And I spent like, I had a lot of expensive stuff on me at the time. So I don't even know why I put myself in that situation, but yeah, we're gonna go past that now. So we're driving back and it feel like it's taking forever. Cause now I'm realizing that I might have just screwed myself over like like they're talking to all these different people on the phone and they want me to hang out with them for the whole day and it just don't 
seem smart. Like, like you just know when you messed up. Cause anybody that asks a random person for a ride means they might be on something or or they're not the brightest light in the bulb or dog that joke was booty i don't know why i said that yeah so yeah um oh yeah so while we're driving they asked if i could go get them a backwood i'm like inside my head i'm like i don't know about this because they're going to just be sitting in my car and like I just didn't want that but I done it anyway I don't know why that's that nice guy in me so I pulled over it was a rough gas station not even a gas station it was like like, like one of the corner stores but yeah we went to the corner store I made sure to take out my keys cause man that car too new so yeah, I grab my keys, grab my phone, grab my wallet. All the all the expensive stuff's on me. So so they can't really do nothing at that point. But I got the backwoods for them. I sat back in the car. I pulled off. And that what else happened? Yeah, like I was just real distant after that, cause it is three of them inside my car, so yeah. So it's three of them inside my car, so you gotta be smart in these situations. You can't put yourself in these dumb situations. If you know you got all this nice stuff and there's more than one of them that can take you out. So you just gotta be smart. You gotta be somewhat distant. But I take them back to the side of town that I was on so that they were basically like, uh, appreciate it all that uh what's your number because like like we might need another ride and all that i gave them my number i ain't gonna answer of course but yeah i gave them my number and and i thought it was over so i pulled off and then like like down the road i seen one of them walking and that mind this like he was walking in the middle of the street so it was nothing i could do besides stop or slow down so he turned back around and that he was like well that that's one of them so he turned back around and that he was like can you give me a ride down the street i'm like i don't see why not but then he told one of his buddies to come with him so and it's not one of the the people that was with him before it's another person so that i'm like man all these is getting inside my car and all that's not looking not looking good because that means that it's five of them in total right now that i have met so uh not four of them in total all right so i picked them up and that he wanted to to get dropped off by like a hotel so i'm like okay then but it was one of them rough hotels that possibly prostitutes and hookers go into so i was like yeah this this ain't looking good so we go to the hotel and that well the new guy that hopped in the car hopped out and that he went inside the hotel and that he was talking to the counter lady so that he's taking a minute. So the other guy just sitting in there just chilling, just talking to me. And then he was like, oh man, you wearing Yeezys. I'm like, man, yeah. Then he was like, how much they cost? I'm like, a lot of money. Then he like, what size are they? I'm like, I'm like, yeah, so he was like, what size? So I was like, uh, why do it matter what size? So then he realized I was getting on edge and all that. So, so I guess he just tried to move on about that because he didn't really say nothing after that. 
But uh, yeah, we just sitting in the car waiting for his buddy to come. It felt like it took him 10 minutes. So yeah, so when his buddy came out, uh, that he was like, so that if I call you later on today, are you gonna pick up and you know possibly hang out with us, smoke and all that? I'm like, oh yeah, sure, I will definitely do that. I'm lying like a mug. So yeah, that's that. That's just my edible story. Kids, don't do drugs. Yeah, don't do drugs. But if y'all like this story time, comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. And road to 50 subscribers. Hey, that don't sound cool at all, but hey. I'm out. Peace.